All right, here is the new prototype version 6 Knight Rider light for Mustangs. Now the big difference between this new one and version 5 is version 5 and 4.5 they is a number of outputs. So basically what I consider an output is how many vertical lines of LEDs. So as it moves across left and right, the more outputs you get the smoother scan. Now like a version 5 usually averages around 17 to 24 outputs per light bar. So each light bar you have that many, so it'd be 34 to 48 total. And then normally a typical Mustang hood is about 17 inches. They vary a lot. So it would normally be in blocks of three LEDs each output. So at, at normal speeds, it looks really good anyway. I mean, I think it looks perfectly smooth. But when you want to go really slow, you definitely need to have more outputs. And that's where this one comes in. This one here actually has 48 outputs per light bar so it's 96 total so it is really really smooth you're basically getting one output for every single vertical row of leds going across you can run it at crazy slow speeds okay so here it is running at a pretty fast speed I and mean, even at the faster speeds you'll definitely you'll see a difference between version 6 and version 5 you just you can't compare i mean when you have 40 outputs compared to 17 to 24 per light bar that's a huge difference but what you really see is when you go with the slower speeds. Using my Android control remote here, I'll get it all the way down to the slowest. I have a slight fade effect at the beginning and end of each scan to kind of give it more of like a little bit of a trailing effect. And it shows you it's really smooth. You get it back up to a higher speed. 10 speeds per scan and the light does save every speed you set for every single scan. So once you set all your speeds, you're good to go. I mean, you can go back and change them later, but it will remember when you power off. Plus it remembers what scan you were on. This one here has 23 scans and four combo mode scans. Now it's 23 scans, but the first three are actually about the same scan they have a little bit of difference now making these lights over the years this is the main Knight Rider scan and I've had customers request three different ways of doing it right here is the first way where when it goes back and forth it completely shuts off on both ends so it goes dark and then it returns on both sides so <clears throat> let me uh, connect again so I accidentally close out my mode here so okay that's the one that shuts off I go to number two. Now this one, basically, the outside corner is shut off, but when it returns to the middle of the hood, it basically stays on and pulses back out. And then, of course, the third one is the opposite. The outside corner is never actually shut off. Let me slow that one down a little bit. But when it goes back to the middle of the hood, it shuts off. So you have your pick of whatever one you want to do or run them all three. There is a favorite scan mode, so you can actually turn off the ones that you don't like and then just use the main ones here. And of course, there's lots of other ones pulsing out, pulsing in. I'll actually go through all the scans once I have this one fully built with a case. Yeah, there, there's quite a few different scan modes, but they're all really, really smooth. All right, the final point to really touch on is with all the changes, with all the outputs, it comes with a couple prices. There's a couple negatives about doing that. Number one, it doesn't have as many scans as version 5 because I can't do a scan that goes from one bar to the next bar and back. I'll show an example of that. And then number two is the cost. The wire I use, it's 21 conductor cable, and this stuff costs about $8 a foot. Now, it takes me about an extra 12 feet of wire to actually build this light. So, you do the math, it's over $120 of just wire alone. I mean, copper is ridiculously expensive right now. So, like I said, this is pretty much the new version 6. I have a few more scans to complete writing for it, and it will be cased up when... Uh, the one guy I'm making this for is ready with his dimensions and I'll put a full video of all the different scans and then on a side note I'm actually working on a, a sound graphic equalizer mode we'll see if that works out or not thanks